Hopefully it will be. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Vincent Schwenk and this is a quick YouTube tutorial. And many of you know me as like a soft body guy and I want to talk about the most important thing about soft bodies, that's the mesh. And yeah, just a quick note, this is like a bonus video because this month is my two years anniversary on Patreon. And let's have a look onto my scene here. I'm in R25 and I made like some super cheap modeling by just copying some objects here together. And then I have a volume builder here and a volume mesher. And I have a voxel size um, 0.4 and let's activate this. And now we have an object. And let's say we want to use this object in a soft body simulation. And I'm pressing NB on my keyboard to see my polygons and you can see this is super high res. And if I would put that into a soft body simulation, the computer would explode, freeze or, I don't know, fly away. Before, I think, 24, there was no option to retopologize um, the thing, but Cinema has a retopologizer in there and I also want to show you something else which is called quad remesher and this is really like a very important tool I'm using all the time so therefore I will duplicate this thing and I will convert both of them and I want to show you a side by side comparison to these two objects so the left one is going to be the quad remesher and I have a shortcut here and let's directly click on the object so on the first thing you can select how many counts you want or how many um, polygons. 110 is not that much, but you have to find the perfect value for your soft body simulation. So I would say 500 is a good thing. So overall, this is also a very organic shape. Therefore, I won't need to detect hard edges by angle. So we can tear that off. And I want to have a little bit of adaptive size. I don't want to go too much overboard. For example, if you go... 100. That means some of the polygons can be quite small and some of the other polygons are a bit bigger and in generally for soft body simulation it's better to have the exact same size. Um, you can see these are very small and the side they are very big. So for soft body I would perhaps recommend you something between I don't know 30, 40, 50 something like that but not more than this. So overall we don't have any symmetry that's what I already had and then we can leave everything like it is. And also when I, when I just remeshed it, I've seen 500 is a bit too much. Perhaps we will lower it to 400 and then let remesher do its magic. And now you can see the polygons are way more even from the size. And I think this is would be a really good thing, especially if you have more soft body objects. You really have to be careful to have not too many polygons because cinema is very slow calculating soft bodies. But after I'm using only one object here, I think we could even increase the polygon amount back to 500. So yeah, 500 is uh, definitely a good value for this guy. And now let's have a look onto the other guy. The thing is called Remesh. And let's drag that into the Remesh guy. And let's have a look on the Remesher here. Let's go from 100% low to 2%. Let's see, 2%, yeah, 2% is roughly the same. I can even drop it down to perhaps 1.2. Cool, then I will convert this already and call this remesh. And now we can have a direct comparison between the retopologized quad remesher thing on the left and the one which is the internal tool from Cinema on the right. The right one, I would say, if I had this tool like a few years ago, it would be amazing. I would be super happy. But if I directly compare it to Quad Remesher, the guy on the left is definitely way better. The topology is really smooth, like the circle is very well done. And Quad Remesher also tries to um, keep loops. So you can do very good UV unwrapping with these loop cuts. Or I don't know, here's a loop that's very good for unwrapping. You could make a loop here and then just cut uh, this piece in the middle out. It's hard to get here. And then we could cut out these circles, which would be perfect. Then the remesher guy here doesn't have so nice loops. You can see it's making weird turns here. And we also have poles. So that's a triangle in here, which is not that nice. But um, in conclusion, I would say if you don't want to spend, I think quad remesher is $100 then you are definitely good with the remesher thing. But if you want to have nicer topology and everything is a bit cooler, then I would highly recommend to buy you this plugin and yeah, use this 
as a base for your soft body simulations. And let's also quickly throw in a simulation tag onto the sky. So I will go for a soft body and let's directly also give it a bit of a pressure and only will I add some turbulence to get a bit of motion. And let's make it strong because I don't have any gravity in my default scene. And okay, they are flying a bit too far away. So let's reduce the scale and in the follow position and follow rotation, I'll just give it one so they will stay a little bit into place. And you can see we are running with 13 frames, so that's very fast. And yeah, they're working pretty nicely. So let's see if we can also change some of the values here. Bloop. Or make them more soft by reducing the strength of the uh, flexion and shear. Even give it more pressure. So now you can see how they're differently behaving, these two objects. Then as a last thing, what I want to mention, I don't want to tessellate this in Cinema 4D. I'm rendering everything in Redshift, so I already have a Redshift tag here and in Geometry. You just need to activate the thing and I don't use screen space adaptivity and I have one subdivision. One would be not enough for this because it's so low uh, subdivided. I would go for three and then everything is set up in your render. So I hope you learned something in this quick tutorial and I'm really looking forward to see you next time. So enjoy your day, night or whatever and bye bye.